Indeed, so that's because last week we ran, we ran out of time and we we're talking about different medical aids, what they offer, and especially on this issue of gap cover. That's why Grant is back. So give us a call, 83 913 Money Matters, Medical Aids, Gap Cover. Good. So good to have you back here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump straight into it. Last week we talked about the fact that different medical aids pay you out at different rates. And this is something that's very, very complicated if you're not really, uh, I guess, uh, au fait with the terms. So let's quickly delve into that. What does that mean, the different rates? Okay, so I think let's go back a little bit in history to explain this whole concept. So the government came up with something called the National Reference Price List around about 2006. Mm -hmm. And basically what they've done with this price list, it's, it's become a reference point to what each procedure should cost inside hospital without making a huge loss and making an ethical profit. So what the medical aids have done is they've taken this national reference price list and they've added on 3 to 5% more or less to come up with what we now know as the medical aid rate. Yes. However, some medical aids realize that some specialists are really good at what they do and they can charge a little bit more yeah. than the normal standard medical aid rate. So they can charge anything from 100% of medical aid rates to two, 300% of yeah. medical aid rates. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the history behind the, the whole rates uh, story. Yeah. So what's the best solution to ensure that if, for instance, your specialist charges 200% of the medical aid, rate but your medical aid only pays 100 percent yeah to make sure that you don't you know shortfall or fall short yeah rather. totally so i think there's two solutions the first solution is to look at the different plans yeah. however that is a lot more cost uh, costly to go to a plan that's going to give you 200 or 300 percent the second solution is the gap cover s uh, s uh, story that we're going to be talking about today okay so um, what exactly is gap cover so basically what gap cover is when you go into a hospital there's two scenarios you get a planned procedure and you get an emergency. Now, in an emergency situation, uh, a medicaid has to cover that in full. When it comes to a planned procedure, you're going to get three bills. The first bill is a hospital bill. You can see it on the screen. And that's about 70% of the total bill. The other two, and that, that's normally covered at medical aid rates. So you shouldn't have a problem with that bill. But the other two bills are the anesthetist and the specialist bill. They make up the other 30%. And basically, they can charge anything they like. So gap cover does exactly what the name alludes to. It covers the gap between what medical aid rates are and what some specialists charge. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for starting us off on that. We are going to be continuing this chat. 083-913-3728. Our lines are now open for you to call in and ask Grant any questions regarding finance with special, of course, reference to medical aid and gap cover. But right now, let's go on over to Zoe and find out what she has for us.